Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, I will be continuing the book of Psalms, starting with Psalm 43. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto the holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O oh, God, my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I don't want to offer any analysis of this chapter, so instead I'll move to Psalm 44, to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, Maskil. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us, what work thou didst in their days in the times of old, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand, and plantest them, how thou didst afflict the people, and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but by thy right hand and thy arm, thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O God, command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee we will push down our enemies. Through thy name we will, will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies, and hast put them to shame that hated us. In God we boast all the day long and praise thy name for ever, Selah. But thou hast cast off, and put us to shame, and goest not forth with our armies. Thou makest us to turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, and hast scattered among the heathen. Thou sellest thy people for naught, and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. Thou makest a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and der a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me. For the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth, by the reason of the enemy and avenger, all this is come upon us, Yet we have not forgotten thee, neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined from thy way. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons, and covered us with the shadow of death, if we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to a strange God, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Yea, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off forever. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and forgettest our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaveth, our belly cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help, and redeem us for thy mercy's sake. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, um, one of the things I want to discuss in this chapter is, we're going to start at the beginning here with Psalm 44. Here, Psalm 44, 1, um, Psalm 44, 2 and 3. How d thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand, and plantedest them, how thou didst afflict the people and cast them out.
For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, and thine arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst a favor unto them. So this is a very beautiful chapter, and so, a theme that I consistently want my Naranjago sons and daughters to understand one day, which is the idea that, and if you're watching this as a non Naranjago today or in the future, the idea that it was not the by the people's own arm or their own sword that they drove the, you know, the for example, the conquest of Canaan. It was not by the strength of their numbers that they achieved victory, but by the Lord their God. And there are so many examples of this throughout the Bible. Think about um, one of my favorite ch chapters in the Bible, uh, Judges 6 and 7. You know, and I, I obviously, one, one of the, cha the, the verses that means the most to me, that when the Philistines come, um, I, 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 I think it's actually the Midianites. Judges 6 and 7. So Gideon, the son of Joash, is, is the judge at this time. And um, Gideon, um, you're nicknamed uh, Jerobabal. Let Baal plead for him. So um, you see here, after Joash stands up for Gideon, he, he, he says, he tells those other men, let Baal plead for him himself you know that's why Gideon is named Jeroboam and then we read the verse here in Judges 6 um, 33 and 34 then all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the children of the east were gathered together and went over and pitched in the valley of Jezreel but the spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon and he blew a trumpet and Abiezer was gathered after him and he sent messengers throughout all Manasseh who also was gathered after him and he sent messengers unto Asher, unto Zebulun, and unto Naphtali, and they came up to meet them. And um, that, that, that's the idea, is after that, in Judges 7, God tells Gideon that you, you have too many men. And how does that make sense? The idea being that when adversity strikes, some of the men will become fearful, and God tells the, Gideon to send these men home, that they are fearful and afraid to send them home. Then he says, he puts another test. He says, tell the men to drink. Those that lappeth like dogs, those are the men who are desperate to, to complete the drinking and, and, and return to their work. And the men who settle down for a long break drinking the water, those men are more interested in resting than, than sacrificing. And, and so God says, out of the hands of these 300 men will I deliver you victory. And you can find the passage here. It's very beautiful. Um, here in Judges 7 7. Well, we'll read 6 and 7, okay? And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were 300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into thine hand, and let all the other people go every man unto his place. So that, that is the idea there, is that that victory against the Amalekites and the Midianites, when you, of course, that verse that means so much to me, right after Joash stands up for Gideon, and the Midianites and Amalekites pitch, pitch camp in the valley of Jezreel. And you hear that verse, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon. And, and, and we, of course, go on to achieve victory um, there. So that's something that is really beautiful. Um, and um, all of that is because of the Lord, my God, you know. All glory be to Him. Amen. So that's where I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video. Since yesterday's daily diary video, I worked at my core. I uploaded and scheduled five workout videos. I uploaded and scheduled many video game videos. And I created, have created this daily diary video for 7923. 
And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.